this. So, Marco, we can discuss the drop zone because I'm in. And Galas did say yes, didn't he? Yeah, we put him on the spot. So, you, me, Galas. Probably not going to happen, unfortunately. Okay. Well, I'm just saying. I've, I've heard whispers in my ear, different people. Any of you guys want to jump off a building with me and Marco? You know, hey. I'm in. Peter's in. Yeah, I'd love to jump off a building. Rashad wants to. Look at his face. Okay. <laughs> I bet I love the look of panic Rashad gets when he suggests anything. He doesn't speak. He doesn't speak. He's like, uh uh. Don't, don't worry about it. Peter, are you right? serious? 100%. Okay, so what's the date? Angie what's our drop date? Uh, it depends. Uh, last year it was September 11th. Angie so if we're doing so it'll be in the fall. It should be in the fall. So our goal is to raise 20 grand this year. Angie. But we got Galis on our team. That's so right. I mean, he, if he talks about it on the news, it's going to happen. She, huh? she knows you? Angie tweeted at us. She said, hi, Liz. Hi, Bianca. Hi, Anu. Okay. What, what did you say? <laughs> we're talking about his wife. She's My like, wife's on. She's hi, tweeting sweetie. At us. Yeah. Hi. Hi, hi sweetie. Hi, Angie. Hi, Ellie. <laughs> hi, Angie. Hi, Ellie. Well, no, you do. You have to uh, Liz, each person I'm raise a minimum of $2,000 to, to at least do the drop. Oh, yeah. Can so, I yeah, you know, that's something people totally need to know. But if, if you think about it, there's five, six, eight of us on I the I think team. we can do it, for we sure. We can easily do it. So, we are going to talk to you about Able Gaming, obviously. We've got two yeah, pieces Gamers, of yeah. B-roll. We've got the... I don't know what game you guys were playing. Uh, we're playing Guild Wars 2, but it's the software we were using that's right. the important part. The game part. is not important. Right. Yeah. Um, and then we also want to talk about the TED Talks. When are you doing the? Uh, March 16th. Oh, so good it's like for three you. weeks. Yeah, yeah. Have you planned what you're going to talk about yet? Yeah, yeah. Sean and I from the video uh, yeah. that you'll see. Now he's actually not able gamers. That's how I met him. He actually runs a company called Reality Controls. Yeah. So that's who I've been helping. But uh, he and I will be doing like a tag team presentation, and uh, we're doing a live demo. So fingers crossed, we don't pull a mic. Microsoft and uh, you know. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's right. That's right. No yeah. kidding. No, no. Uh, no pressure. Jokes aside, it's going to be really neat, and the reason why we love it so much is it's helping to change a lot of people's lives, right? I think mm -hmm. it's fantastic. Yeah. I yeah. mean, I don't know if you had a chance to see the video, I did. but mm -hmm. yeah. So, just so I have it straight, yeah. is does it learn? Yeah, so you can save templates and profiles okay. for every person. So it doesn't learn on the fly. But if you're having issues with hitting the triggers, you can actually use a slider to move them closer to your body or further away, depending on what so you need. So rather than move, so you can use head movements, can you set it for your own ability? That, that's is right. Is that and how it works? The okay. cool thing is, is that when you roll up to it and you're in a seated position, it recognizes you're sitting down and removes the bottom part of it because it knows you won't be using right. your legs, which most connect applications uh, don't even doesn't even like when you're in a seated position. In fact, right. you know they'd say, you know, get up. What's wrong with you? I'm like, come on, guys, really, <laughs> <It's> like, really. <laughs> uh, but uh, so this is a way that <laughs> fighting we can, with a video game. That's right. Yeah. So we can combat that. So the connect is uh, macro motion using your body parts. We're using other devices called uh, the leap motion and things for mm. micro motion. That's yeah. literally tracking your fingers wow. and your eye movement. So that's that's when we're going to get, eye yeah, that's when it's getting really, really intense is that somebody who's maybe perhaps quadriplegic. Uh, quadriplegic could then move their eye to the left and now their character's moving to the left, those types of things. Incredible. That's what we're looking to get into because that is what's going to give the quality of life that you couldn't get anywhere else. Cool. And is it, is it fairly accessible for people? Like, is it? Yeah, absolutely. You know, I, I'm not going to lie with the Connect version. It is harder for individuals who have very limited motion. Yeah. So if somebody has motion like myself, uh, able to kind of stretch up, it's yeah. good. But this is why we want to branch out into different markets and mm. use other applications. But the therapeutic benefits of it, the rehabilitative benefits of it, oh, yeah. I mean, that's where it's, it's going to go up, right? Yeah. 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 Oh, we are ready to go. We could talk to Marco forever. <laughs> <coughs> Here we go. Is, is it called TEDx Stanley Park? TEDx Stanley Park, okay. that's right. Everyone, and welcome back to the rush. Well, not too long ago, I rappelled off the side of our building, uh, well, not our building, a building down the street with our next guest, Marco Pasqua. We're going to be doing it again this year because it is for a great cause. He is a motivational speaker. <laughs> That's how he conned me into doing it of from course. the Q principal. How are mm -hmm. you, Marco? I'm doing very well, and it's awesome to see you guys. I love this new open set. Beautiful. Thank you. Thanks for being here. And Marco, let's first of all talk about the drop zone again because sure. Peter has just offered to join our team, and we're going to be doing this.
this in the fall. Right. Tell us what it's for. Okay, so the drop zone is actually going to be raising money for uh, children with disabilities to go to Easter Seals camps as well as supporting Easter Seals House. And uh, why that's so important to me is that I was an Easter Seal camper as a kid, as you've heard time and time again. And that's how I actually originally met you. Years that's ago. right. Yeah. That's right. And so it really does make that lasting difference, and that's what I want to do. By us raising a uh, few dollars here, a few dollars there, you're actually creating that ripple effect that's going to help change people. So it's 20 stories, Peter. You in? Yeah, 100%. 100%. As long as I'm tied into <laughs> something. Well. I, yeah. I like how you stopped to think I about know. that for a second, right? <laughs> yeah, no, I'll, I'll do it. As, like I said, as long as there's like a, a cable I can hang yes, on there to. Yes, there's a cable. We'll <laughs> arrange that for you. Yeah, it'll be okay, fun. and we wanted to talk to you today because yep. you're doing uh, something very interesting with Able Gamers, which is something else that you do on the side. But tell mm -hmm. us what it is you're doing with this new technology. Okay, so uh, there's a company, a uh, foundation called the Able Gamers Foundation, and they help uh, to review video games from a therapeutic standpoint, as it were. So if you had only one arm, how could you play this game? If you're colorblind, how could you play this game? And through them, I actually met a company called Reality Controls, head up by a guy named Sean Sibbett, and he's creating this technology called Control Mapper. Now, what's cool about this technology, I did come from the game industry, mm -hmm. so I've seen that there isn't a lot of accessibility out there, is that you can remove your keyboard, you can remove your mouse, and you replace that with actually activating virtual triggers around your body. So if you're not able to have the fine motor skills to use a keyboard, for example, you can now use these triggers around your body. So if you have a character in a game, you can see us right there, we're playing. I'm actually moving the character with my arms. I'm like a superhero, see me like blasting forward. So what game platform are you using for this? Is that how it operates with a platform itself? That's right, so we're plugged into a PC, but the greatest thing that people need to know about this is not just for gaming. It's any application that you can use through a computer. You can program individual templates to be used with this software. And it'll save your profile. So say, for example, um, you can move your arms like you can, mm -hmm. and you can move your head. You're going to be moving your character or what have you That's right. by the parts of your body that are able. Exactly. And you can also use voice control. So if you want them to go forward, you can literally say the word forward or go and then they'll be able to move. So if you don't have as great range of motion, that's another option as well. And how much has this changed in the last five years? Because, I mean, you look at Wii, uh, the Xbox Live, that kind of stuff. That's all fairly new technology. That's and right. It must help you in what you're doing as well. For sure. Well, you know what? I look at what Reality Controls is doing as the tip of the iceberg, really. This is just a taste of what's going to be available and out there. But for me, the reason it touches my heart so much is the therapeutic standpoint, the rehabilitative standpoint. We can go to places like Lululemon and do fitness assessments on the fly, you know, remotely. Wow. Uh, I mean, it's amazing. I just, I, I'm baffled by it when I think about it. It opens mm -hmm. so many doors. And tell us a little bit more about Able Gamers sure. itself, because you said you came from the video game industry right. working with electronic arts for a while but yep. what is Able Gamers? So Able Gamers uh, is a platform to showcase video games in that new light so as I said video game reviews new age technology there's over 33 million gamers who use uh, gaming for rehabilitation purposes in the US alone. I had so, no idea wow. so right. what is the response that there might be a technology like this moving forward that could take someone even a quadriplegic yeah. that, to be able to play these games and use it for rehabilitation? Okay great well I I think that the response so far has been fantastic. I mean, through devices like the Kinect, uh, it's macro motion. We're looking at other devices like the Leap Motion for micro motion, so you can actually use your hands, your eyes, and so far, so good. Everyone loves the aspect of it. For me, it's more than the physical benefits, it's the emotional benefits. When you see that you're actually controlling a character for the first time in a gaming world by your own abilities, it's like getting an extension of who you are as a person. And you're breaking down those barriers, and that's why it's so important and that's why I love working with Able Gamers, Reality Controls, all the above. And it's inclusion. I mean, these are things that maybe you couldn't have done or certain games, you know, back in the day when it yep. was just a controller that you could only operate by hand. Exactly. It's changed so much and it's just being able to be a part of it must be so big as well. It's, it's true. You know, most uh, adaptive or rehabilitative uh, pieces of hardware or software are expensive. Now, Control Mapper is only $39.95 for the first uh, year, and then it's a $10 subscription each subsequent year. That's nothing, wow. right. especially for individuals who perhaps, uh, you know, they are on disability or they're not making a lot of money. This is an opportunity for them to get physically active in the comfort of their own home and really give us the feedback that we're looking for uh, to make this product better. Okay, so tell us what you're doing uh, that's super exciting. You're going to be doing uh, a talk with TEDx Stanley Park. Mm -hmm. How honored are you to be doing this? Uh, I'm extremely honored. Uh, you know, as you know, speaking is one of the things that I love doing the most, but I'm really more so honored about the fact that I'm going to be able to educate the public 
about what Reality Controls is doing, and we will be doing a live demo of what you just saw there uh, on stage. So very nerve-wracking, but to be a How speaker, much pressure <laughs> as a gamer to do that on a stage, to be on your on point, I guess? Relying yeah. on technology, making sure everything <laughs> goes right. You don't want it to go wrong. Well, you know, Sean Sibbett and I are going to be a tag team on the stage. We're going to sort of be bouncing off of one another. We have a plethora of really, really talented speakers talking about STEM cell research, talking about uh, the push for change, Joe Roberts. I mean, there's a lot of people that are going to be here. So to be chosen as one of 12 people in the city, to be a part of this, uh, I'm completely honored. Amazing. Mm -hmm. And we have to talk about the last time that I saw you was mm -hmm. on our Timmy's Telethon, and you <laughs> proposed to your wonderful girlfriend. I did, yes. Live on television. Mm -hmm. Now that things have settled, uh, how are things going? Are you planning the wedding? Uh, yes, good news is we are still together. Okay, good. So, uh, <laughs> Can you imagine? Uh, yeah. We broke up. Yeah, no, that's sorry, sorry. It was a great <laughs> month engagement, but we've decided to go our separate ways. Yeah, well, you, you know Hollywood, how it can get you sometimes. No, uh, to be honest, uh, she's the the best thing that's ever happened to me. Karen is absolutely amazing. And so if there's any nonprofits out there that are looking for people in event planning, please uh, contact me. Because uh, Karen, Karen loves what she does. And, and that's why I love her. She's got such a big heart. And uh, so we are planning right now. We're looking at venues. And uh, we got to mesh her Swiss background with my Italian background. In a, in oh, that'll a, be an interesting that's dinner. A, that's a big wedding. Well, you yeah, know the Swiss. They're, they're neutral. So, yeah. you know. There you go. They'll be well, okay. That was such a, a memorable experience for everyone who was uh, at the telethon. I know buzz started getting around that it was going to happen and we uh, all kept our mouth shut surprisingly we all, yeah i i said something about it and uh i was talking to someone oh i think it's gonna be an engagement and actually karen was right there and someone's like <gasps> oh geez thankfully she didn't hear me but uh you know i tell you there wasn't a dry eye in the studio after that happened i was so surprised she had no clue you know I, I had told her that the ring box in my pocket was a wireless mic box so even when i pulled out the red box she was like why what is he, he pulling doing? the mic out this is ridiculous that's pulls a, out the ring and then you know, apparently she was just what uh, that's a well, beautiful Marco, mic box congratulations yeah, you are truly an inspiration mm -hmm. and if you want to check out more about the campaign that we were talking about you can go to indiegogo to find out more information and also uh, marco will be one of the 12 speakers speaking at ten, TEDx Stanley Park. That's happening March the 16th. So if you're in town, make sure that you check it out. There's a website on the screen for that as well. Thanks again, Marco. Thank nice you to so see much. you. Yeah, have a, a great day, guys. Yeah. Thanks, Marco. Stay with us. Much more when we get back. Thanks, Marco. That's so funny. Uh, uh, we have a question from live stream. Oh, yeah. Yes, we have one question. What is your favorite video game? Oh, oh geez. Well, actually, I'm going to sound really nostalgic when I say this, but uh, so, uh, I like Mario Brothers, the original on NES. Nice. And it was because it's the first game I ever played. I put the controller in my hand and saw this character jumping around in this game, and I was like, whoa! And the guy <laughs> that I was playing with couldn't believe that I zipped through the world so quickly, and that's when I got hooked on video games. Really? Yeah. Oh, that's funny. I remember that, too. That was my first system, and... The doo 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 doo, getting to the second level was the best feeling in the world. Oh, yeah, I still like 8 bit music, you know? It's, yeah. it's what pumps me up. Well, thank you, Marco. Yeah, thank you so much for thank being here. Thank you. Friend. No problem.